Now we're gonna go on one of these boats up to Greenwich. They don't know which one. They don't even have a ticket yet. But we'll make it eventually. We've been on the eye before. That's not on our agenda list for this trip. Buying the tickets. Right? All right, down the pier we go. Boarding point B. Right, about ready to get on, the, actually are on the tour boat. Actually, just a boat. I'm gonna take us straight up to Greenwich. It's a beautiful day here in London. Could be the last of our beautiful days, but we're gonna take advantage of it, make the most of it. Be nice. One over 10,000 pounds, making it look like a steam train emerging from a tunnel. Well, I've been looking at it for a few years now. Okay. After yeah, Nelson exactly defeated yeah. the French yeah. at the Battle of the River Nile. She's basically a drinking club for retired sea captains. <laughs> Behind the Wellington there's a stone archway with the face of Father Thames, and that's Temple Stairs Arch. That's the boundary marker for the city of Westminster, where we're about to leave, and the city of London, where we're about to enter. Now the city of London is the smallest capital city in the world. It's only one square mile. It's six chimneys. That's Waterguard House. It's homes of Majesty's customs and excise. Now they tell us that any illegal contraband that sees at the border is taken to that building to be incinerated. Right here at Greenwich we have the real Cuddy Sark. They're uh, doing some renovations on the hall right now. And then you can actually go in here and uh, go underneath the hall and take a tour of the, of the ship. But uh, I don't think we're going to do that. I don't think we have enough time to do that today. But it uh, looks, uh, looks quite interesting. Go right through there. Fi 15 pounds for an adult. Well, before we go up to the observatory, we're going to walk right through the uh, center of Greenwich. And uh, of course, Lisa wants to go through the market. That's okay. Yeah. So uh, we're going to go through the market and then through town. Wow, it's cute. Man, I'm sorry I ate breakfast. This is uh, just uh, so quiet and peaceful and relaxing. My gosh. Not what I was expecting. Of course, I don't know what I was expecting, but uh, certainly not this. All right, we made it up the hill to the Royal Observatory, Greenwich. Now, just to find the Prime Meridian in good shape. Wow, this is uh, quite a nice view. Uh, this, look, uh, this is Canary Canary Wharf uh, over in the distance, and uh, looking down to the Royal Maritime Museum down here, and I'm sure we can see Greater London way off in the distance here. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, oh, yeah. So there we can see Greater London. Way off in the distance. You got the. This is our war. It's the Royal Maritime Museum right down there. Hey, check it out. It's the home of space and time and the world famous Meridian Line. Hey, they made a little joke. Here we are, right on the Greenwich Meridian. Ooh, taking a big shadow here. I'm not sure I can do this. Three. Here it is, Greenwich Prime Meridian, and this tells you how far east and west all of these capitals are. And off we 
go into England. It's the Great Equatorial Telescope. It's the mechanism, because I don't really see the telescope. Oh, there it is. Right there it is. This telescope was uh, re-inaugurated by the Majesty of the Queen in 1976. It's a 28-inch telescope. Official time here at Greenwich. Next stop today is the National Maritime Museum. Come in, nice little entryway here. And I can see a ship in a bottle in the distance. I can't wait to see that thing up close. Sorry about that. There you can see it. Zooming in here. Message in a bottle. And here it is up close. The ship in a bottle. Entryway. Of course, the queen, queen's everywhere. Or some version of the queen. Prince Frederick's barge, who knew? Frederick, Prince of Wales. Along uh, London's busiest street, the River Thames. And a quite a interesting collection of figureheads. Actually, some of them are bodies, too. Must be a racing boat here. Miss Britain, the third. It's a passenger liner. This is a, a massive propeller. It was built for one of British Navy's frigates during World War II. So here you get a little perception of the size. There's this, uh, there's this propeller. Pretty massive. Uh, this is the front side of the National Maritime Museum. The thing is huge. We barely scratched the surface. But uh, the museum in Greenwich beat us because our legs are beat today. And uh, beat my feet. Uh, feet, my legs, whatever. <laughs> so we are uh, about ready to take an Uber boat home. We'll show you the Uber boat, which will uh, be uh, interesting for most people who only know of Uber cars. And now we're in the courtyard of the Royal Naval College. Doesn't look too active, other than the tourists. Boat. I'm going to take us into the central London now. Well, today we decided to come to Greenwich, which is the beginning of time, or the start of time. And uh, it was a very interesting trip. We uh, take what we took the bus, took the tube, and then we took a, a, a boat 
uh, from, um, from Westminster down, Pier. Thank you, from Westminster Pier here to Greenwich. And then we climbed up a long hill. Climbed up a hill and it got here to the observatory. And uh, it, was, uh, it was quite interesting. We found out that there, over a period of time, there's been multiple meridians that have sort of switched, uh, switched positions about 100, 100 yards here. Uh, based on the accuracy and the telescopes that the people use to uh, uh, you know, measure measure the stars and and uh, and everything, but uh, it was uh, it was it was quite nice. We stood in the, in the uh, western hemisphere and the eastern hemisphere simultaneously, so that's always a uh, a bucket list to do thing. For Bob, <laughs> For Bob me. likes to stand on lines of things, and this is the ultimate line. I actually never stood on the line. We need I to get to the, the equator. <laughs> But, uh, the line. That was our day here, and uh, we hope you enjoyed the video. And that's uh, today from Messy Suitcase. May your suitcase always be messy. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Cheers! Hasta la vista.